Alrighty, getting ready to make the pizza again. From uh, using Costco, Costco's got these now in the organic section. They're a package of four pizza crust with sauce. They are awesome. I keep, I love it when they have them on sale for $9.99. That's only basically $2.50 a pizza. So you have your crust, you get your pizza pan, you'll open this up. There's four of them. Yes. Getting ready to make a pizza. Using this organic pizza starter kit from Costco. It comes with four stone baked pizza crust. So what we'll do is to open them up. Open up our package here. Let's see, they got it sealed around, so. Open it up. When you open it up, you'll see here's your one, two, three, four pizza sauces, mm -hmm. one for each crust. So we'll set one of these off to the side because we'll be using the other three we put in our refrigerator. They use for later. Then here's one of their pre done crust. You can see how they're basic, they're pre-cooked to a degree. What we like to do is pull them out, take some peanut oil, which we have peanut oil in here, or you can use olive oil. Yeah, we have, so we have extra virgin olive oil, or extra light olive oil. I'm going to go with the peanut oil and slaver some on. Then rub it around. As you can see, this side of the crust had some browning already. So that's the side we put the oil on first. And then we put it down onto the pizza tin. And then on the lighter side of the crust, lather on some more oil. Make sure that nobody is allergic to a peanut. Yeah, so if you're using peanut oil, definitely make sure no one's allergic to peanuts. Thank God nobody here is, because I like salted nuts and Spanish nuts and I love peanuts. Okay, so you put oil on this side too. This way you have a crust that will brown nicely and also it helps it have moisture. Alrighty, so after you do that, make sure you go to the sink Wash your hands with soap and hot water to get the oils off. Then, underneath the cardboard of the pizza, they have a Ziploc baggie for storing your other three crust. So you pull out your baggie, open that puppy up, get your three crust and Slide them on into the baggie. Now I believe they say, I can't remember 100%, but I think it's you're supposed to use these within about a week after the opening. I like, when I try to get the air out, I like to use a towel, because it adds some pressure across the bag. Helps to push the air out more. And zip it closed, double check. So we got it, our other three crusts sealed. Got your directions here for how you're supposed to cook the pizza. Another good thing that- Where do you store this one? I store it in the refrigerator. refrigerator? I use the drawer in the refrigerator. And that's where I put the sauce too. And then you want to take a magic marker or something. And put a date on And put the date. Okay, so that's how you get you get to that part. We put the other the leftover stuff in the refrigerator. Now as far as your ingredients, 
We have some red bell pepper here. We have a can of sliced olives. We have some fresh pineapple that we cut up the other day. We have our mozzarella cheese. We got our salami that we had we had froze when we bought it because it comes in a double pack when you buy it at Costco. And we like to pull out what we need and then throw the rest back in the freezer mm -hmm. so it doesn't go bad. It keeps it fresher. And then you have your, your mushrooms. Don't forget, when you prep your mushrooms, you grab them, snap the stem off of the bottom. It's the easiest way. Then you grab the, the hair, or I mean the, the skin, and you, you peel it. It usually has extra skin hanging over the edge to where you can grab and then you get your button clean so you can slice it you don't need to have the stem attached i mean it, it'll look pretty when you slice it if you do that but odds are you're going to bury the mushrooms under something anyways and people aren't going to see it so so if it, you don't have a fresh mushroom you can also use a if you don't have one. fresh mushrooms you can Use a can. Use a can. Like these. These are pre-sliced organic mushrooms mm -hmm. by Giorgio. Best brand as far as I'm, I know of on the west coast. Alrighty. It's time to start adding some toppings to this. So Cut our sauce open. Remember, don't leave the plastic. We got ripped off a little bit on this crust. Why? We got a hollow spot. Uh. That's okay. Still going to be a great pizza. And versus what you could pay at a pizza parlor for one of these now. Yeah, this. it's probably like $19, yeah. $20. With the amount of toppings that we'll have on there, no doubt. Okay, so, dump the sauce. Then you take a sacrificial piece of salami. <laughs> <laughs> Spread your sauce around using your sacrificial piece of salami. Why? You asked, do I call it a sacrificial piece of salami? Because once I get everything spread around, you eat it. I oh, no, you said I eat it. I eat it. With the sauce? Yes. You said it been healthy. Honey, let's see. Unfortunately, I've been on this earth for over five decades. And I've been doing it my whole life, so fold it in half, try to squeeze some of the extra sauce back in and then Mmm. Yep. Okay, we taken our pineapple and sliced it up. Pineapple's a little dark, but it's fresh pineapple. And just like bananas. When it gets older, the it'll it can darken up a little bit because of the sugars. We've got our two piles of salami. That's about as much salami as we'll need. Our mushrooms, got them all nice slices. Mm -hmm. Got our mozzarella cheese, our red bell peppers, because they add a yummy flavor, and our sliced olives. Alrighty, my better half likes the pizza built this way. Put the cheese down first and the other things put on top. I would do it the opposite way. It's all your all personal preference. However you want your pizza built. No, actually if as long as the salami and the the mushroom is on top. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. Whatever, whatever gets your taste buds dancing. I want it cooked, you know. 
Salami is already salami is already ready to eat. That's how it's how it's made. So you can eat it right off of the chub. Red bell pepper. Red bell peppers. Red bell pepper is ex very expensive this time of year. It's like three times the four times the price of what it is when it's in season. Pineapple? Fresh or freshy? At first I just throw everything on. Then I go back around and try to fill in some of the blanks. I like to get a, a bite of all the yumminess in every bite. That's why we could never own our own pizza parlor because we definitely have to charge for what everybody else does for their pizzas but ours of course would be packed with a lot more toppings. Our profit margin would be less. <laughs> yeah, we want everybody to be happy with their pizza. Mm -hmm. Not commercialized. Because yeah, pizza is just a little bit of heaven. Look at that! Colorful! Okay, so now the, some olives. Now, in this can of olives, you get a, a lot of them. So what we do is, after we open it up, we pour the extra juice into a small bottle, mm -hmm. a jar, so we can store the rest of our olive, our leftover olives for our next pizza. You don't want them sitting in the refrigerator for months and then you open it up and put it on a meal and you go to taste your food and it's like, oh my god, that's rancid. Yeah. Then the whole thing is not going to be eatable. And, you can, and it seems like a rule of thumb is most stuff... It's like a week yeah. lifespan after it's been open. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can maybe go a couple of weeks, but some are like you can always search on the internet how long things are able to be kept for. Okay, I'm trying not to pack it as much as I usually do. A lot of times, I I'll just use the whole can because. Like I said, I just love toppings. But we got those other crusts. So we're going to be making more pizzas in the, in the next day. few days. Okay. Now you want to put on your your mushy mushies? It's up to you how you decorate your pizza. It's not written in stones. No, you might cook it on a stone, <laughs> but it's not written in stone how you top your pizza. Do it to your own taste. Now Some people actually use uh, sausage, cooked sausage. Oh yeah, that's good. To give it a little hotness to it. Or you can have ham and ham. pineapple. Have yeah, those are yummy too. You can put chicken, you can tomatoes. It's a Shrimp. pizza a pizza is a never ending story of goodness. You can just have the sauce and a little basil and a little mozzarella. 
Yeah, as far as the toppings, it's all your preference, whatever you want to put on it. Mm -hmm. You can even put a shrimp on it if you want. Better remember, we gotta use some of our little stem pieces too. Now remember when you are prepping your mushrooms, the, we, like I said, we peel the skin off of them. You don't wash a mushroom. If you wash a mushroom, it soaks up water. That's what I had a, a chef tell me one time. Now you get the skin up. Sometimes you can take a, a towel, a kitchen towel, a clean one, and you can wipe the, wipe the skin off. Yeah. It's but, better just to peel it. It's not it's really easier, hard. For the most part, it's easier to peel, but mm -hmm. you just don't want to wash them because they'll just soak up water like a sponge. Okay, well, I don't see any place else where I can really pit anymore. So we got a nice bowl of sliced mushrooms so we can add them to a, a green salad and we can keep some for making another pizza. Alright. Salami? Now we'll put on its capper. Oh, you didn't slice the salami in quarters this time. No, thing. because Is it you pepper? like no, you like the pizzas backwards like this. So I found it's easier if I leave the salami all together. Yeah. Because it is able to hold on more. If I slice it into quarters, like I would when it, I would usually put the salami on Closer to the sauce, definitely uh, it would be under the cheese. Then I would cut it in quarters and blanket the whole thing. <laughs> like I said, I like, we love our toppings, I like to have everything in every bite. So, and just to help everything hold together, put a little, and for the, it, for the presentation, that's why it wasn't piled on piled and piled on on the bottom you add a little sprinkling on the top just helps with your presentation when we would pre-cook the crust was when we were using Appian Way pizza oh. Yeah, or also the other one, the, the pop-up. But this one, you don't have to do that? No. Because it's already been cooked. Oh! Said, said right on the package. Okay, so follow the instructions. <laughs> yes. So it said... It like nine minutes. Stone, eight minutes, stone bake. You want to preheat your oven? So we'll go to bake. We're using our convection. 450 hit start and when the oven gets up to about 300 325 I'll throw the pizza in I don't wait for it to fully heat because you're wasting energy and all you have to do is adjust your cook time a little bit when we put when I put it in the oven it's going to be anywhere from 8 minutes to 11 minutes depending on your oven so the best thing to do is after eight minutes, check it. If you're starting to get a little brown on your cheese, then you, it's good. If not, put it back in or close the door, wait another minute, two minutes, and check it again. Okay, well, the oven's really preheated. My camera operator got busy, but... Okay, so we'll open it up. We got our rack in the middle maybe a hair above middle take our pizza get it in there kind of centered on the rack close it and then 
timer. Set your timer for. Remember, it was eight to eleven minutes, so we'll set it for eight minutes and hit start. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Alrighty, eight minute timer. Turn the timer off. Open the puppy up. Ooh, look at that. Hot diggity, dog diggity. Listen to that sizzle. It's popping. Oh yeah, look at that. We got some nice caramelization of the cheese. We got a little charcoaline of the salami. So, off with the oven. Hit our button for our child food block. Sometimes motorcycles really need a better exhaust when people want to play in their own neighborhood. I don't know why they can't go somewhere else, but that guy always has to do it in our street when he lives one street over. Doesn't do it by his house. So this is ready? Just doing a double check. Like I said, we got good, good color on the salami. We got browning of the cheese. Oh yeah, look at that. The, the crust is browned up really nice. So I say that's we run around this like this, make sure that it's loose and not sticking. And then we'll let it rest here, which it'll continue to cook. We'll let it rest for about five minutes. And then we will cut and serve and enjoy. Cut the slice. So, rock our little slicer. Sometimes I think we should go to a, a kitchen store and get one of these that's actually metal. Well, do you like this roller or this is a better one? Well, I, I thought that would be easier to clean, that one. It, this is easier to clean. Yeah, because right? the metal one have, you know, the, you the got center. The, the axle. Yeah, which is hard to clean. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Pizza. All right. And when, which one would you like, my love? Um, I go with this one. Committed suicide from your. And this is my share of the pizza. And the rest of this, it's this your... is my share oh of the my. pizza. And that is true too. <laughs> All righty. Oh. Time to chow. Like, so we're like they say, LG, life's good. Mm mm mm. We're all flying, eating. Chow, 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 chow. You want a knife? Uh, yeah. I need a knife. 